Markey wrote fellow House Democrats he'll seek the top natural resources Democratic slot based on his seniority on the panel. That from the Hill newspaper last week. Markey, who has little if any record on insular issues, would, if picked, succeed longtime panel chair Nick Rahal, seen as a friend of the islands, and the expected new top Democrat on House transportation and infrastructure. But Markey, known for his work on energy and the environment, faces a challenge from Raul Grijalva of Arizona, who headed the National Parks, Forests, and Public Lands Subcommittee in the current Congress. The present ranking Republican on House Resources, Doc Hastings of Washington State, is the presumed incoming full committee chairman. But the big question for Guam, the CNMI, and the other territories is what will happen to the Insular Affairs Subcommittee, headed by Guam's Madeleine Bordalio in the outgoing Congress, and who will chair it if it continues in some form. One early rumor here is that Alaska Republican and former resources chair in the 90s, Don Young, will chair a reconstituted Native American and Insular Affairs Subcommittee. But Young's Alaska office did not return calls on whether he's interested in such a post. Young's seniority on Insular Affairs puts him in line to succeed retiring top Republican Henry Brown of South Carolina. But Young carries political baggage from the Jack Abramoff lobbying days and from committee staffer Mark Zacharis, a former NMI labor official who pled guilty to taking bribes. Matt Kay, PNC News, Washington.